Now, let's see how you can get a custom view of your territory using Visualize. Before creating a route, it's useful to see on the map only the accounts you're most interested in. Badger gives you the ability to colorize and filter your accounts so that you can focus on your priorities at all times and even spot great opportunities around you. So, we'll go ahead and open the Visualize screen up here. These are all of the fields that you can colorize and filter by, and they are totally customizable by you. If you have additional fields besides the basics, like name and address, you can include them in your spreadsheet and they'll show up here. You can also create new fields manually through the web app. Click here to learn how to do it. Use Colorize to see your pins in different colors based on the fields associated with the account details. You'll be able to see the bigger picture of your accounts at a glance without going through lines of data. For example, let's say you've created a filter named Priority with the values High, Medium, and Low. By toggling this field on, you'll see your pins in three different colors depending on the value that's assigned to them. You'll know where your best opportunities are and you can target the right accounts at the right time. You can also toggle the legend on and off by tapping here. Use filter to sort and narrow down accounts you want to see on your map. Note that when you have the colorize option active for a field, you'll see this colorful wheel near it under filters. You can activate any filter and toggle off the values that you're not interested in. Let's say you only want to visualize high priority accounts. You'd toggle off those with medium and low to stop seeing them on the map. This allows you to focus on the locations of your key accounts. If you want to narrow down your results more, you can have multiple filters active at the same time. Note that when filters are active, you'll see this message down here that says filters active. If you ever notice that not all of your accounts are showing on the map, make sure to check if this is active and if so, go ahead and reset your filters here. The filters days since last check-in and days until follow-up are created in your account by default. The first one is a numeric field that keeps track of your check-ins and colorizes your accounts in different shades from yellow to dark red, depending on when you last visited each account. This way, you can see that if some of your pins come up in dark red, it's time for a follow-up. Days until follow-up is a filter that helps you plan and keep track of your follow-ups. Enter the date you'd like to follow up with each customer under account details, and you'll be able to see all the pins on the map in different colors, depending on how far in time your follow-up dates are. You'll see in light yellow those accounts that you need to follow up with soon, and in a darker shade of red, those that require a follow-up on a later date. If you need to assign new values to any filter, you can do it account by account under Account Details, or you can create a new value for multiple accounts using the Lasso tool. This tool allows you to mass update a large number of accounts so that you can easily edit values.